Interesting. Okay, so we're all gonna die. No. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Welcome to Swan Sniper into the post-apocalyptic jungles of Fertile Crescent 5, a Revelation series event. This is chapter two of our adventure. In this series of videos, I'm desperately trying to save my nephew and get him to a better place. Get ready for one wild ride. Swamp Sniper here. So in the first video, I briefed the crowd. I then go on to explain the story of man that built up civilization, destroyed itself with nukes, started to heal in a sliver of the earth, worshipped all kinds of life, and a portal came through one day. A traveler with advanced technologies gave to three elders these time keys that people could travel to another dimension with. He also left behind health units that are very sparse but can save people from an inevitable plague. So this is why to win, I need to either ultimately try to survive by getting a time key and traveling to another dimension, if that's even real, or by getting a uh, life preservation cell regenerating device. Fertile Crescent. We set out to find my nephew. Ian! Ha ha, we've been looking for you. This is Ian and we were able to find him early on, thankfully. We then roll up to the Candyman Trading Company where we find this guy, the candy man. What's all this about this? And much to my surprise, there are two health units sitting right on his table, exposed to everyone. They're not going to be easy to acquire though, because- Somebody came in and offered like 700 caps, and I still said no. Oof. I then quote unquote test my okay. Polar Star G&G SR25. He's about to shoot Todd in the back. Oh God, no, not Todd. And save my friend. I got him. He was about to kill Todd. Followed by a firefight where we shoot people who are shooting our people. Oh God. We realize we need medical supplies, so we head to the Circus of Value and then I get shot in the neck from the tower. Ah, of course. After arriving at the COV with a little bit of haggling over price of stem packs, this guy Skittles sells us two. You're a good man. Hey man, as long as you guys are doing good things and helping out the wasteland, that's what we're trying to do. After drinking a delicious nuka tonic, I discover the land of the men with the short shorts and have the honor of meeting the President General of the Holy Hydrophilic Empire of Balakistan. I'd like to welcome you to our fine country. We then pay for our citizenship cards and sit down and relax to plan out how we're going to win the day. Don't break it. Did you bend the metal? No, she just went back. Okay, thanks. I'll keep it. They then agree to give us 100 caps for one of our two stem packs. <laughs> yes. Now we can heal our own and buy things. You're now rich. You are, you're awesome. Oh my God. This area is getting a little too heated, so we move on. I bump into my friend, Scotty. You good? Oh yeah, absolutely. And tell him about how we should steal these things from the tower so that maybe we can work together and survive. And here we are heading north. And then Nash finds the guy who shot me in the neck. Is he visible from here? No, but he's in that area. I'm sure he's gonna step out soon. Okay, why don't you guys cross so it looks like a group crossing okay. not waiting to shoot and I'm just gonna chill for a second. And a couple of other guys up there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see our boys. Yeah, on the left side, yep. walking behind it. Good thing I have this Riker grip. My arm's not getting tired. I'm actually gaining uh, stability. I'm gaining stamina I'm while holding the grip. Every, plus, 50, by, plus 50 stamina. FPS increased by 20%. Where is 20%. he? What's up? You good, man? Okay. I like your get up, man. The guy who shot me is this guy with the long hair. Sorry my scope cam was not focused for this kind of range. He's pretty far now, dude. All right. My first shot hits his sling, then the person next to him. Oh, dude, went just to the left of him. Bam. Got you, mate. <laughs> who do you think did it, brother? Revenge. 
It wasn't until I saw this footage that I realized the first person called a hit. Even though it was a ricochet. Okay. Dude. That's the power of the GR25 Polar Star. I mean, that's a pretty decent range. Yes, it is. You want to roll up? That's like, what, at least 280 feet. You want to roll up now? Then this guy lets me shoot his awesome scorpion. Actually, like the recoil of the 22. Really? Wow. That's serious. Try it. I, I want to. I don't want to waste your rounds on no, you. It has so what, all, all the way forward? Yeah, all the way forward. Yeah. Wait, 550 yeah. rounds? Yeah. Dude! Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Sweet. Thank you. What's your name? Chris. Chris? My name's Chris. I know it is. I watch you all the time, man. Very cool, yeah. dude. Well, that's nice that's job. awesome. <laughs> yeah. Nice to, to meet you. Both, I had just had both I, I ran the other way, so we're good. Okay. Go. Well, that's awesome. Thanks for letting me shoot it. That, yeah, dude, that has a wicked. kick, man. I think we, can, yeah. we need to get one of those for Saratov. Just quickly, like, <laughs> switch it. Yeah, it's got a steel, oh. steel recoil plate, 6.01 master barrel in there. That's, that's awesome, man. Oh, I love this gun. Aha, uh -huh. I then bump into Scotty again, but we're a little exposed in the open. We are, yeah, we're pretty, here, hey, look, here's a nice uh, meeting room, there's a con <laughs> conference room, created by, created by nature for us. Oh. Said, oh, the citizens? Right. Oh, that's that whole group by the pond. Oh, okay, okay, Yeah, the, okay. the, the, the Soviets. Okay, 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 okay. Right, right, okay. okay. So, I'll go over there, I'll talk to them, need to start building a following. I have a backup on possibly getting two from Skittles. But he said, I may have a way to help you with life, da 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 da, if, if you show that you do good throughout the waste. So I can't like attach myself to anything else, if you get what I'm saying. So I gotta be, I gotta be very careful about that. Then Nash gets shot. Oh no, <laughs> sorry, gotta figure out what's going on here. What do you got? So Nash got shot, but then he got shot again after he was dead, which is not cool. I flank around, but then my nephew walks up behind the guy that shot Nash and shoots him right in the back like a boss. That's my, that's Ian that, that killed him. Shot Mo in the back too. Good job, Ian. Just walked up and smoked that dude in the back. Ian. Good job. Yeah, way to kill that. He, Nash was just saying, some of, some of these dudes aren't doing anything, and you just walked up and shot yeah, him. Yeah, because we were engaging that guy. That's what we do to people who take out our people. I then walk over to the Blood Pit Arena to find the man in the purple coat and ask him if he knows anything about the elders. We think he's one. It's good to see you again. And you. Is it true that you are one of the elders? Uh, yes, despite the fact that my emblem has been stolen. Oh. Well, that's not good. Stolen in the first 10 minutes of game. Do you know who stole it? My back was turned. I had it hanging from the well. I was running a fight and they cut it down. I got a big bounty out for it. About, about yay big, big scarab with the wings yeah. spread and a uh, like a jade colored uh, abdomen. He's talking about one of three special keys given to the elders in addition to the 27 small keys. These are necessary to activate the portal essentially. So he tells us if we got it back, he might have some things that would help us get through. And now a little friendly fight in the blood pit arena. Awesome. Begin. Oh! That was in the chest, it looked like. That's one for Chase because all fights are best out of three. Execution, execution. Oh, do it, do it. It was in this moment that according to the rules of Balahak, Mo was then kicked out of our group, banned from the field for life, and fired from working for the company. I don't know why these rules exist. And Mo, we miss you, man. I miss you already. 
And you made such a good model for our outdoor clothes. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing here. No, I just Chase won some money and we moved on. And this guy let me shoot his HPA tap pistol. Oh, dude, that shoots really well. Testing. Oh, there was a person right there. Dude, that shoots ridiculously good. This is Dash, and he was an enemy of mine at Rev 9, but we decided to be chill with each other. Now someone's shooting our people in, from the woods, and I see an opportunity to kill and loot a couple dudes. But I need Ian's help. Hey, Ian. Ian. Hey, come here. If I kill these two guys, will you rob five caps from each of them? Or ask if they have any quest items? Are you comfortable doing that? So again, this rifle's awesome. I just didn't realize there was a third person. All right, go loot them. Ask if they have any game quest items. And I feel terrible for this. No! Nash, Ian is down. Hit! God dang it. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad. I told my nephew to... I, I told him if I kill these two guys, will you go loot them and ask if they have a gameplay item? And so I killed them and he went up and there was a third guy that smoked him. Ian, I'm so sorry, dude. I feel, I had no idea there was a third man. Oh, I will take vengeance. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. You good? Yeah. Dude, oh, I feel so bad. No, it's okay. And then he shot me right uh, after he shot you. A third dude back there when we got yeah, we need to go kill those dudes, like okay. destroy them. So two of them, two of them got away. We need to destroy them and loot them and see if they have gameplay items. Yeah. Oh, we'll see you All right, you're good, brother. Okay, that was, oh, I'm so, mm. Dude, I'm gonna destroy these people. All right, let's go. Someone's gotta be looking on the range, see if they double across. Who could have made these traps? <laughs> re re really big caterpillars. Yeah, I'm gonna go look out in the open, see if they're uh, trying to cross. <sighs> Where's he at? No! He shot, oh my gosh, he shot him twice. He's going to die. They're running to you! Uh, he j it looked like he just ran out. Ran? Yeah. I'll get you up in a second. Hey, they got him, right? You, him? you killed him. You guys pulled through everything. It just came down to that one last guy. He was hiding in the center bunker, killed three of us. Yeah and then ran right into you guys. Dude, he legit <laughs> like to that tree to me. Actually, <laughs> All right, so you smoked that dude that ran away? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Hey, Moses, COV, town. And here's the deal. We need these health units. Let's just walk up in there and like, be like, you're giving us this. Okay, you're giving us this. We need these things. Guys, we are really bunched up. Start walking Moses. Let's go, let's go. So it's absolutely beautiful back here. Kind of did a little vengeance mission, even though I shot these guys first. Kind of feel bad, but I was hoping we'd get some loot off of them. Now we're gonna head back down south to the Circus of Value, maybe to the town. We don't want to make enemies with any role players but we want to get these health pod things so i want to take it by force but there's no real way to do that so that's why you have to kind of work with people i'm all about working with skittles 
but we have to do like a lot of good and it's hot and doing good takes time. What are you guys doing? What is in that? Water, trash water that they want us to filter as a task. Oh, sorry. You're filtering the water? Uh, just all the floating stuff out of it. Oh, okay. Interesting. That's good. Okay. Water's water's a valuable resource. Out here in the wasteland. All right. What are they giving you for it? Boys, have your passports ready when Only we get to the border, okay? The girl who just left knows. Well, that's... <sighs> yeah, I see I see them. And his buddy immediately like <laughs> he, no, he immediately like squared up on me. Obviously citizenship. She got citizenship. Oh, you guys just got attacked? Come here. Like, what? I'm trying to make out with you something. Why he always like... Oh, once we, because there's people that aren't part of our group. Again. Once we get in this pod, we hide it in an area that's defended okay. And we go a little bit outside of that and just start killing. I'm not afraid to shoot two crowd people to defend my life. Okay, we need a health pod. Now, the guy's filtering the thing. I said, what are you going to get for that? And he said, the girl that just left is the only one that knows. And that's the, that's like the big character. So I think, I think that that group might get one from Skittles. Because they're doing good things. Which Let's is go Skittles do a good happens. thing. No. Deliver a child. Right, we streets. can do a good thing or we can kill people that d did good you're things. You're right, you're right, you're right. Oh my. I got like stung, man. This place sucks. All right, so I just want you to, to, to recognize. No. See that yellow I know. shirt with the best? I know, we shot them. The your, your, your nephew, I your am. uncle right here, this uncle. They're the ones doing good things that are going to get something. Right, and we're going to do bad things. No, no. I'm just saying, they might get what we need. You know what? There's the girl. Let's confront this situation right now. Oi, 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 oi. Oi. Yeah, yeah. Smoke up, boy. What are you guys getting in return for uh, purifying water? A brick. A brick of things? What does that mean? Does it have anything to do with preserving life? Possibly. Okay. Possibly. I'll be over here. Gotcha. Yeah, man. I was like, boom, I'm like, it looks like boom, boom, <laughs> boom. No, oh, that's right. I have this hooked on here. Yeah, we got our friend that's coming in. Hey, here's a VHR 10 mag right here. I'll take it. I have it way down well, compared to what the uh, uh, Nelson West rules are. Yeah. <clears throat> now, there was a minor issue oh, where we got attacked by another faction, but we're all good now. So, it was a random group over yeah, there, but um, oh, we went over there and talked to them, and then Scotty intimidated <laughs> them with his large army. Thank you very much for your help, Scotty. What's up, brother? Absolutely. Anytime. What's up, man? I might have your distraction. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. I need to get with Skittles on it. Mmm. Skittles yeah. working towards really good things. Yeah. That's like his focus. Ah. Are you aware of that? Right. Okay. But we're at Nicole about that. Okay, we're, we have an understanding. Uh, I didn't tell him about you. I didn't tell him about that. But we went down to the LZ. We may have fun. Every year, I mean, what? A newt. That's a big a newt? thing. <laughs> you know, and he said he has. <laughs> oh, a newt. Yeah. Oh. Right. And he's got some bricks. Speak American, son. <laughs> so, so, he's got this brick apparently that can power it. He's got it. A brick. A brick. A brick of things? Plus something. The power. Right. Okay. That's interesting. So, Scotty's talking about bringing the nuke up to the Candyman and freaking them all out while we steal the health unit. I don't even know if it's there. I don't even know if it's there anymore. They might have been sold. We need to check. We need to check and see if it's still there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Christopher. Hey, Chris. That's not my name. That's not my name. <laughs> That's not my name. So we know what we have to do. All right. Murder everyone? No, not yet. Oh. Where's Skittles at, man? <laughs> do you know anything about a life support system? 
What? Baby steps. Now, if I can just make it safely to the tower without getting killed, we can either try to rob and steal this health unit or see if they're even there. Maybe purchase it. Enjoy the shade. Bonjour, no. What do you need? What do you need? I'll buy it for you. How much for a Twizzler? For him? Yeah. One Here you go, brother. Thank you. We've got to eat. You can notice there's only one health unit left, and I can't take my eyes off it. Do you have any beef jerky? Nope. Actually, the uh, marshals came and commandeered it. Oof, I have to talk to my marshals. Really? Yeah. No! <laughs> um, can I get a Twizzler? Yeah. Thank One you. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you found it. Is there anything we can do for you to obtain that? I'm telling everybody the same thing. Bring me the weirdest, craziest, coolest looking thing. The worst I can say is no. Okay. I have Somebody the, traded a, uh, a pistol earlier for a scarab. I have the oddest item you will see today. I don't know if Chris might shut that down. We'll see. He says he'll trade it for the weirdest, craziest thing anyone can bring in. That's crazy that someone gave him their own pistol to trade for a scarab or one of the time keys. This might be our last chance to get a health unit. There's, a, there's an animal in the wheelbarrow. The giant golden right. dog. Right? That would probably be the weirdest thing for us. What are you talking about? Dude, okay, just the Wait, golden the... dog. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The golden dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's referring to this thing, which was an idol introduced three years earlier into the Crescent. It was worshipped by the faction of greed. Also, why is that fox so sneaky sneak? Then let's go get that. You guys are gonna go make that happen. I'm gonna switch out my GoPro. Stick with Nash and make sure that you get, uh, Get what we need. At this point, you might want to just roll with it. Okay. Nash. The can is up to role players. Role players to prevent it or allow it. Well, essentially, our whole crew and people walking near us were all wiped out. I was then able to head back, grab my GoPro, respawn, join in the game, and everyone was still kind of in the same area. Now I want to see if I can take out okay. these snipey snipes in the second floor of the Escher before moving on. Do you see the second floor Escher popping out shooting? Interesting. If there's no Pakistani and uh, government people over there, we could be chilled out. Crossing. Really? The sniper just put two rounds into his t shirt. He was like, oh, and he just moved. What? I know, it's a little frustrating. Like, chill, 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 chill. And then I shot someone in the eye pro in the middle window, so they called it. They're not allowed to shoot from second storage, right? They are. I did the tower shoot. Yeah, if the role players allow it. Now, I shouldn't have complained about that. Uh, I shoot a lot of people and film shooting a lot of people out here, and maybe one in every 200 kills, it's questionable. That was questionable, but people react differently sometimes, and he could have just turned that corner, called his hit, and people pulled him down to heal him. I'm not gonna let it ruin my day if he just reacted slowly. I'd say three kills is enough revenge for them shooting us in the street. <sighs> Plague Doctor. Plague Doctor. Mr. Plague Doctor. Who did you just shoot? Good shot. Right here, sir. In here. So this is the Plague Doctor. We are desperately, desperately trying to search for a health, life-preserving unit thing. Do you know 
of who already might have one. He says he does know who has one. Do you know any descriptions so that we can negotiate them and offer riches? By negotiate, I mean to kill and rob them. He then describes the individuals, and we all know who they are. So that's helpful. Anyone else? Um, not, not at all. I do, I do still have one goal to be alive. Really? Yes, I do. Oh, we're chill, dude. We're chill. We're talking to the plague doctor. What could we do to achieve that so I could save my nephew if the other situation doesn't work out? You really want to know? Yes. You're a pretty good shot, aren't you? Yes. He wants someone assassinated, the second-hand man in charge of Royal Blue Trading Company, where the circus of value is established. His name's Ryan. Ryan? Does he have a physical description? Do you have one? No? If I kill him, I can assure a safe passage for my nephew. Okay. Thank you. I will try. All right. All right, can you go to the uh, Royal Blue and identify who Ryan is? He's a second-hand man. That's the uh, COV, Circus of Value. Okay. Can you go there and be like, hey, where's Ryan, blah, blah, blah. You know, I heard you have something for sale, something like that, just so you can give me a physical description of him. Are you gonna be here? Uh, yeah, well, well, we'll probably like uh, kind of go over here. Mouth. Actually, we'll go to the Soviet area. Okay. So you go there. If I can't win, I wanna make sure that my nephew does but it gets a little dicey because Skittles is set up at the COV and I don't want to ruin that relationship. This would have to be a clean assassination. So the plague doctor has basically hired me and he will give a time key so I can save my nephew and send him to a better place. If I assassinate a specific individual named Ryan at the COV, I don't know who that is. I sent our boy Chase over there to find out who it is. If I have a clear shot, I will assassinate him. I will go get the time key and at least save my nephew because it doesn't look like any of us are going to be saved that we can get one of these things. It's quite difficult, but that's kind of the point. Gives people something to do to the very end. Who knows what will happen? I just doubt we'll survive. So all of my wonderful viewers, I hate to say, but this is where this video ends. I feel defeated, like I haven't done anything, but I have this hope of saving Ian by killing this one dude, getting a time key, and I can't wait to show you how it works out and what happens to the rest of our crew. Let me know if you liked this video. If you did like it and you're not a subscriber, please subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff, and whatever you do in life, stay safe, enjoy it. Be creative and peace.